everyone welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial I will be showing you how to measure the area of a polygon, how to measure the length of a line and how to extract the x and y value from the point layer. So these are the layers which will be used in this tutorial and now before getting started you can see the option project on the top. Now just uh, select the option properties. So here you can here, here you can change the uh, measurement units for example if you want the measurement in meters you can choose meters otherwise you can find lot of uh, measurement units are there you can select accordingly if you want miles you can select miles or nautical miles or kilometers likewise for uh, area you can select accordingly if you want you can use square meters or square kilometers square feet etc these are the units which are available you can use it for the area calculation after uh, selecting it Select the option apply and click OK. Now we just get started. Now you can see the point uh, data that is point layer. Now right click on this point layer and you can find the option open attribute table. In order to extract the X and Y uh, value, first we need to enable this toggle editing mode. After doing so, just move on. In the center you can find the option open uh, field calculator. So after selecting it, you can see that the create a new field is available. Uh, make sure it has been enabled and we are going to specify the output field name. So I am going to give X as the field name and the output field type will be decimal and the precision will be 3 and I am going to use the maximum length up to 7. And after doing so, you can find the option geometry. Just click on this arrow so that you can find a lot of uh, functions available inside it. Just go down, you can find the dollar $x, double click it on it. After doing so, you can see the preview, of, preview for each of the features. So now hit the button OK. So you can see here we have got the x value. So likewise we are going to uh, get the y value. Once again click on the field calculator. And now you can see the output field name. I will be I am going to select it as Y. One second decimal numbers. I'm going to use seven and the precision will be three. Now once again select the option geometry. Get down. You can find the dollar Y. Double click on it. It will be appearing over here. And you can also have a preview of for the each of this layer. Now click the button OK. So we have got the x and y value. So now we can save it using this option called as save edits. And you can uh, stop the editing using the uh, toggle editing mode. Now we have stopped the editing and uh, we have saved it successfully. Before uh, getting to the uh, length, uh, that is line uh, length calculation, uh, you can see the projection properties of this layer. So I am uh, using the projected coordinate system and zone 44 and I am using so as I am doing for Chennai so I am using this uh, units so this unit has been used in the three layers that is a uh, projected, projected coordinate system zone 44 and specifically for Chennai now we just move on to the line once again right click on this line file and you can find the option open attribute table here. Now you can uh, have to select the option toggle editing mode. After selecting it, we are going to create a new field. So instead of creating it inside the field calculator, we just create it outside the field calculator. There's no much difference in it. Now we are going to give the name as, as length and uh, we are going to select the type as decimal numbers and let me reduce the length to 6 and precision to 2 now hit the button ok so now you can see we, that we have successfully created a field now once again open the field calculator now instead of uh, selecting the create new field we are going to select the update existing field and in the drop down option you can find the length length field and now in the geometry operation we are going to 
pick up the length dollar symbol length that you can find on here you can also directly search using this tab so after uh, double clicking on it you can see that uh, we are getting this results we are just having a preview of this results for canal it is 2000 something and for highways it is around 5459 so these are in meters so you know that I have shown you how to set the uh, measuring units so now it is in meters now let me click ok so now you can see here the length has been measured successfully now hit the button save edits and for stopping stopping the edit hit the button toggle editing mode once again and we have calculated the length successfully now let me show you how to calculate the area so select the polygon and right click on it and you can find the option open attribute table now we are going to create a field so we need to first enable the toggle editing mode and after doing so you can see the option called as new field so now we are going to give the name so I am going to give the name as area if you want you can add comments so the type will be decimal numbers so the length I am going to use is around uh, 6 and the precision will be 3 now click ok so we have successfully created a field for, for calculating the area so now once again hit the button field calculator and here select the option update existing field now click on this drag down option select area once again in the row number you can find the geometry click on the geometry and here we need to find the dollar symbol area so I think it will be in top yeah you can see the dollar symbol area double click on it you can have a preview of the measurement so for uh, each uh, for example for uh, metro depot this is the area that is in square meters square meters so click ok so we got the area for this polygon once again save edits and uh, stop editing now close this if you want to change the map units once again go to the option properties and uh, you can see the option properties sorry uh, go to the option project and go to the option properties here you can change the uh, measurement units for example if you if I want the area in square kilometer you can select square kilometer instead of meter you, you need it in uh, miles you can select miles let me apply it and click ok once again we are going to open this uh, attribute table of the polygon select the option toggle editing select the field calculator sorry field calculator and now we are going to update the field now we are going to directly select the area geometry double click on the area now you can see the units has been changed now it has been showing in square kilometer apply it ok you can see it has been converted to square kilometer likewise you can change and uh, if you want you can save it and give stop editing so it is same thing for the line as well go to the option open attribute table start editing and open the field calculator select the option update existing field in the drop down select the length and here in the geometry we need to find the length so you can see dollar symbol length double click and you can see it has been changed the map units has been changed for canal it is saying 1.5 so it is in uh, I think it is in miles so you can see the difference you can see the canal over here it is showing in meters and now it is showing in miles so click ok now it has been converted into miles if you want you can save it hit the button stop editing project properties here you can change the measurement units 
So if you have any doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. Thanks for watching Terra Special. Goodbye everyone.